Uh, here we go. Hello, seven, uh, seven God point damn it, one. Win. Sorry, <laughs> that so was gonna be point, such a good intro. It would, but like seven point one. I, I was surprised. Too. Then you turn into one. That would be so Once you cool. Get your period. <laughs> Maybe only. I'm still waiting on mine. <laughs> <laughs> I think I'm gonna turn into a shark. Hello, everyone. We're the Continuity Crew, and I'm Will. I'm turning. That's when. And today oh. we've got an episode of Streaming Junkie slash. Big feature film podcast? I don't know. I mean, this is a Pixar movie, so kind of big feature film, but... This is in the movie theaters. Nope. Really? I thought it was. Nope, it's straight to streaming. Pixar has been doing that. But yeah, this is an episode of, I guess, Streaming Junkies, and we're going to talk about one of the latest streaming releases, Turning Red, a Pixar yeah. film directed by Domi Shi. It follows a young teenage girl coming of age and turns out she can turn into a red panda because her family, yeah, I haven't listened to that song in forever. Um, but she gets excited, emotional. She turns into a red panda because of a family curse. Lin blessing blessing what it, you watch the movie and find out we're here on the show we start with our ratings and then go throughout the show and talk about them so we do two ratings here critical and entertainment one being the worst 10 being the best when what do you say for critical rating for turning red it's got a metacritic score of 83 wow three <sighs> See, that's, it's not the worst movie you watched. Like, it right? isn't. No. I just did that to hype you up a little bit. Yeah, I, I'm aware. I, I, if you came out swinging, though, I'd be interested in what you had to say. I'm still interested in what you have to say. Um, if I'm going to be honest, I'm going to give it a five. A five. A five. Because, well, we'll talk about it. Um, there's definitely some th parts of the movie that I just enjoyed and didn't influence how I felt about it critically. There wasn't. Yeah. So, again, we'll talk about that in a second. I was going to give this a five, and then I thought about it more. Yeah? Yeah. Um, entertainment value, what do you say for a turning <laughs> Four. Right? Four? Okay. I was annoyed, mostly, at this I, movie. And I get that. But I would, I just tried to have fun. Yeah, I, I will say that I, going into this movie, like I heard the criticisms about it. I was like, all right, I'm just going to go in and just enjoy the ride and just have fun with this movie. And so entertainment value for me, I'm going to give it, I'm going to say a seven and a half. Before anyone says that, I, like I was one of the haters before this, I didn't even know there was hate toward this movie. Yeah. I didn't even know this movie fucking existed. Yeah, I had, I had heard about it. I didn't know necessarily when it was coming out, but I think a couple of weeks back they were like, yeah, it's going to be straight to streaming. Yeah. I'm like, okay, cool. And he was the one who told me to watch it. Yeah, I mean, I we, no we Pixar movies are kind of, I mean... They're hit or miss at this point. Yeah, but they're also like just on here on the show. We'll, we try yeah. and get most of them. We did yeah. Luca. What was the one before that? Because it was also Soul. Soul. Yep. Let's talk about our thoughts on Turning Red. Uh, Wynn obviously feels uh, a little more disdain towards this movie. So what what was it for you? Was it the, the furriness? <laughs> yeah, absolutely hate furries. Yeah. There's a few things I, like, I don't like about movies. It's the furries, uh, the pedophilia. And the gay shit. <laughs> All of it. All yeah. of it. Yeah. No, it wasn't the furry shit. Uh, it, although that was kind of weird. Uh, it was very weird at the end. So, some of it, okay, some of it is very, well, that's what I mean. It's like, they definitely made some adult, like, jokes it there. And it's it's totally on purpose. And I really enjoyed that. Because I'm like, I was just kind of expecting, like, a coming-of-age story. Like, oh, she turns into a yeah. panda. Um, Like, the period jokes. Yeah. I thought those were funny. Uh, No, it was... You know, real world context. The, the the tale at the end was just really like, yeah, come on, come man. on. <laughs> we all know what that's about. One thing I didn't know about this movie was that uh, there's a, apparently there's some uh, disdain towards the CEO of Disney for um, funding like anti-gay stuff or something like that organization. Probably, I don't know. I, I didn't know that. Uh, I was talking to someone over the weekend, and they were like. Yeah, I don't know about this movie because it's uh, because Disney's funding anti-gay stuff and uh, the animators don't like that. So I think this was a passion project, and oh, I think yeah, this for was like sure. somehow bypassed the CEO. But I guess you know yeah. when you're Pixar, you, you don't really need them that much. Yeah, Pic I mean they've Pixar has been going through all the like different heritage heritages, heritages. or just uh, what's the word ethnicity? Yeah. 
Yeah, that's, that's it. it. Yeah. So the and which is cool because you get representation for everyone. It's good to see. Um, like I really liked Encanto, even though I'm not. What are they Colombian? I don't, I don't know. I, haven't I seen think it was it. Colombian. You haven't seen that? No. I think you'd like it. <laughs> really? Yeah. It it's actually like it's pretty good. It's cute. I mean, the music's good too. I mean, that's. I don't know what I gave Raya, but I think this is a little better than Raya. Oh, absolutely. Raya was just annoying. It was really more stupid. Uh, yeah, I yeah. just did not like Raya. It was uh, supposed to be like a Pacific Islander movie. kind of stuff, but like I felt none of that. Yeah, Nothing you didn't feel it. any like... No. Yeah, but any like, I mean, Hispanic thing, I like I feel a little towards like... Um, I mean, in the Heights. I mean, that's not Disney, but I was still like, yeah, yeah, it's Anna Heritage. That's cool. Yeah. Um, but so nothing for Raya. But, well, anything for this with like Turning Asian away. culture? No, uh, the parents thing, the overbearing parents. Mm-hmm. That's a very common thing in China, Asia. Uh, I don't know about Japan, but that's a very common thing, and I think that's something that would that Asian people would connect is when their parents are like, you have to give back to your parents mm-hmm. and everything that you have. That's a true thing. Uh, that's the only thing I can relate to about this movie. Uh, maybe a little bit of the Chinese culture and the, the tradition. But other than that, nothing about this movie. I was like, I was, it was confusing because mm-hmm. they didn't know what it wanted to be. I don't know if it was like a, it was a coming of age story, mm-hmm. but the panda was supposed to be like this metaphor for like periods right i don't think so that's what that's what i, I, I interpreted it as. i don't i don't think so i think that was just there as a joke i know what i'm what i'm saying is like it was supposed to be but then it like at the end of it it just kind of disappears <sighs> like it's supposed to be like you know this is your uh this is why no, I, you're growing up or this is what happens when you're growing up and it's just specific to this family but like it it's it's a weird like metaphor for <laughs> I don't, well, period. I don't think <laughs> it a, is. I, I mean, that's the name, Turning I, Red. It's, yeah, but it makes sense. I, I mean, I think that's supposed to be the innuendo, but I don't think it's actually. I think it's supposed to be like this family's, like, um, God, like, not fairy tale. What? There's. I can't think of the word. Curse. Curse, like, family, like, tale, whatever. Inheritance. Uh, yeah, something like that. That's and it, it's just. It's a telling of like a lineage and family and like everybody's got it. And I don't think it's about periods. I I think it's about periods. There's your title. Uh, I I think it's about periods. I mean, (laughs) the minute like the minute she talks about it, it's like, okay, yeah, you're you're getting periods. And it's like, it makes sense. I feel like it's supposed to be a. a, I think it's just an innuendo, though. I don't think. uh, I'm just saying. I don't think it's about menstruation. I think it's about menstruation. It's about becoming an adult and that's completely fine, but it's just really confusing. uh, (sighs) See, this is what I mean. Maybe. You you think it's different, but I think it's different. No, I think the context for it is there, but I don't think that's what it's really about. No, I'm going to say it's about periods. (laughs) Uh, and then uh, it doesn't know if it wants That's to be like... That's got to be the title what? of the video. <laughs> it's about menstruation. <laughs> turning red review. Turning red review. No, then it gets to a point where it's like, is it about furries? It's not about furries but either. Then, like, it's not. But like <laughs> I, at, at times I was kind of thinking about that. Th- like not towards the end, but it was towards when, you know, they were in their school or whatever mm-hmm. and everyone was giving them hugs and she would just turn into this big red panda. And I'm like, well... Is it about furries? People liking furries? I, I don't know. I, it's not. No problem towards that. I just think it's, it's just confusing. a growing up story. This is what I'm saying. It's really confusing. That's like it is a growing up story, and I get it. But the red panda is a big elephant in the room. <laughs> you have to like point that out. It's like, well, yes, obviously, but it's a kids movie. They're making it fun. But how would you relate Red Panda to like growing up? It, it, the Red uh, Panda. Her period. <laughs> exactly. <laughs> <laughs> no, I, I. Well, I'm. That's what I'm saying. It's like an innuendo, but it's not actually like. It's more about the family structure and like. Like actually growing up, not specifically period. It's not sure that innuendo is there, but it's not specifically about the period. Well, regardless of what what the red pan is about, I just think that like everyone in this movie is kind of stupid in a way. Yeah. yeah. No offense, because like I think you know there's this like serious undertone with this movie, mm-hmm. but then the mom is fucking cartoonish. Like who. F- 
fucking goes behind the tree and like waits for her daughter just to, to give pads to. She's the, it's fucking it's stupid. It's a helicopter mom. She cares about her kid and like Dude, she's over like a normal mom. She's go, over go go It's a kid's movie. The office. It's a kid's give movie. Pads. It's a kid's movie. Just be like, hey, can you tell my daughter to like the, get like to get these pads? Just be like, you know, just say it over the intercom. Hey, can you go to the office? That's what a normal parent would do. It's they a would, kid's movie. I know, and I get and it. And it's supposed to but be, but because of the funny. adult themes, yes, there are adults that are gonna watch this. Yeah, and which being us. <laughs> And they're not gonna be like, oh, they're she's crazy mom. Why didn't she go to the front? It's like, ha ha. Why didn't she? <laughs> That's a funny moment. Not how. Oh, why didn't she just do this? It's a kids movie. It's not funny. It's stupid. Everything I about this movie is stupid. Thought it was hilarious. I'm sorry. It's I like Sandra O. Oh, and I um, thought. And I thought she was great for this character. And I like that the 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 cartoonish nature of Sandra O. Oh in this movie. But like, there you go. Win. Why can't it just be what the? F there you go. <laughs> That's one of the stills. I hate that so much. There you go. I hate that so much. And her friends too. They're. They, I kind of don't like them. I do. I because it seems like nobody really likes her. Uh, I think I don't think anybody liked her until like she turned into a panda. Because then everyone's like, ah, big fluffy thing. No, her and her friends are definitely friends. She's just. They're like, well, she's got a her crazy mom. Like she's. she's Oh, everyone thinks she's like she's like uh brainwashed. Yeah, and it's fair. It's fair. We've but gone like, through they're that. They're still her friend. Yeah, they are. It's just they're shitty friends. I mean, okay. No, they are. <laughs> I'm sorry. Uh, they're shitty maybe. friends. Maybe I don't know. Besides the point. Um, let's move on from the periods and the <laughs> shitty I, friends. I'm trying to move on. <laughs> um, what did you think about the animation for Turning Red? I think it was fine. I don't know why. I, I like, don't know what the main complaints are. Like, I think for an animation or for like the character designs, I think they're imaginative, yeah. At least, and then. Well, I think they did the same thing with Luca, and then yeah. they just changed it again. And people are still. I mean, people complain about Luca too, though. But Luca's more lovable, though. Uh, I gay just. Shit. I just think it's just very. I I like it. It's Pixar. I thought a lot of the textures and stuff. I don't yeah. know a lot about animation, but it just looked good. So no, it did look good. I don't know why people are complaining because like I, it is character design is like more like uh specific to people sometimes mm -hmm. they, they'll lo they, they won't like it they'll like it that sort of thing but i think for pixar this is on brand and it's something that they've done for years with characters they've always had some unique design for characters and i don't know why this is such a problem now yeah i think it just has to do something with asian people <laughs> i yeah probably i mean i it's i just i like the quirkiness of the teenage girls. I I'm like, I'm like, literally, it's just, it's because it's so on the nose. I'm like, yeah, that's yeah, true. Like, gr crazy girls. I mean, having like a younger sister, like, it makes sense. So, uh, I mean, in some ways, though, we can relate to like the embarrassment of growing up. Yeah, right. Like, I can get this, and I can, we can somehow relate to it. It's just, I don't know. It, it, the thing about this movie is that like what's that movie with robots what robots no the one with the i a robot no the the animation one that you told me to watch and i was like oh this is stupid but i liked it you oh there? mitchell's versus machines yeah that was a good one i like that movie because like it has realistic like stakes to it you know mm -hmm. like they have arguments that are very normal to a lot of people but in this movie it doesn't feel normal it just feels like it's turned up to 11. And I the mom that, just handles it yeah, like an absolute crackhead. You're instead right. Of like a normal mom and have like self respect or like some sort of like, <laughs> uh, what is it called? Self uh, awareness. awareness. Yeah. She doesn't have any of that. She's just, she goes up and she just yells at the fucking clerk and she's like, you pervert. No, that was great. <laughs> like, what the I, it's just funny. I hated that. It's I cringe funny. At this so much. It's because it's funny and you hate fun. <laughs> I I think it was cringy. I, it I, was cringy. I will agree, but because I I cringe too. But I was just I was there for the ride. I was enjoying it. But anyways, um, I there's should say I hate kids, so that okay. should be something. There's <laughs> <laughs> I hate um, children. And I will say, like with my rating, I probably did give it. I probably would have given it higher, cr um, critically and entertainment wise. But I was trying to. I kind of toned it down because like some of the 
I just had fun with this movie. Like, especially um, near the end, spoiler alert, I guess. Um, the mom, she's a big red panda. Like, she's Godzilla size. And, like, they even kind of showed her like Godzilla. And I was like, haha, that's funny. Like, yeah. it's, and so I was, I, I liked little references like that. And just being like a teenager, like, I, I don't know. I, I think the context of her size was really confusing. It was. Yeah. <laughs> it was like Clifford a little bit. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. Um, but um, I think I just had fun with this movie. I think you, he, whether Wins says, admits it or not, I think he probably related to some teenage moment there. But I, I think being like just a teenager and growing up with parents, you can relate to part of this somehow or just overbearing family, stuff like that. So I, I did really enjoy that this and that's probably why it's a little bit higher for me than when so turning red any final thoughts i guess uh turning red has a lot of potential to be something better i think this was a very weirdly toned down version of uh something great mm -hmm. and i could see why maybe disney didn't like it and they were just like making more childish or some yeah. shit like that pixar's kind of decline in quality for this one at least i mean to me I, when i see pixar movies i imagine like some revolutionary I, like, so thing, like graphics and stuff yeah i don't know i think with all the the like heritage movies like they're kind of doing it's um i think they have small teams for most yeah. of them and they're just splitting them apart and they still have great technology but i mean they've they've been making so many yeah. like they still look great but it's smaller teams and there definitely could be yeah, better, yeah that's, but still. that's completely fine with me i mean they're grinding this shit out yeah but, you know, next time maybe do something more thoughtful, like the way they did Toy Story, where they yeah. took, like, their damn time making those movies. And as a first-time director, apparently, Dami Shi, this is her first yeah. time directing, uh, I think she did an excellent job. Or she? Is it she? she yeah, she yeah. did um, the the bow uh, short. Yeah, yeah. As, you know, the scale, this long, um, oh. I think she did a great job, and... Honestly, I, I'm excited to see whatever she has next. Cause yeah. I did like that Bao movie. That one I relate to a lot. That made me cry. And not a lot of shit make me cry, man. That's a good one. I, I definitely got emotional watching that, too. It was cute. Fuck that movie. <laughs> <laughs> um, And any final thoughts for me, I guess. Um, I really enjoyed it. And like I said, any this is for a specific audience for sure. If it's not you, you're probably not going to like it. I don't know. Like, I just don't know what it is. Uh, I mean, is it for furry? Is it for for uh, anyone who likes uh, feminist shit, or is it for Chinese people? Which I, one? All three. But that's the stuff that it's obvious for, I guess. Yeah. I think there's some like category I can't really think of that. If you're not in that demographic or category of people, you're not gonna like it, and that makes sense. So, um, but. I'd say watch it anyways. It's a cute kids movie. So, um, I hate children. <laughs> <laughs> and on that note, that's our streaming junkies review for turning red. As always, thank you all for watching. Make sure you like, if you enjoyed comment down below and subscribe. If you want to watch more videos like this, thank you all for watching. We love movies. I uh, will win. We love movies. We love y'all. And we'll see you on the next one. And we won't be talking about red pandas. No, but I do like red pandas. I do love a red yeah. panda.